Morning comrade subscribers. So I'm up in the kitchen today. A bit more space before the wife gets home. So this is a Thompson uh, T07 slash 70. So this is another first generation Thompson computer similar to the uh, to the M05 which I've got here. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, different design though. So um, with the M05 both released in 19... 84 I think so the T07 slash 70 is an improvement on the original T07 and this is the MO5 so I'm, I don't really follow what why there was an MO series and a TO series so the MO series I believe is micro ordinator so micro computer whereas the TO is the tele tele ordinator like um a TV computer so you just connect it up to the TV We've got a similar rubber keyboard so this this is a 64k machine upgradable to 128k I believe whereas the MO5 I think was 48k something to do with you know competing with the with the spectrum both have got rubber keyboards at this stage um, as you can see here Actually, it's quite interesting. We've got entree, and then we've got entree. We don't have the little accent above the e there. Um, yeah, what well, it's, it's it's interesting how they've kind of they've got you know they haven't reproduced the same. Key, they've they've gone a different way, direct uh, different direction with the keyboard, really. Anyway, maybe two different divisions competing with each other internally. So. Yeah, not, not compatible with each other either. The MO and the TO aren't compatible with each other, uh, which is also interesting. Um, so, yeah, this is quite an interesting machine. It came with the original box. So one, one of the things I noticed is that it has, um, it's got the French, English and uh, German. So I guess it was, and you can see that also on the box. Can I fit it on the screen here? Can't really see much on the front there, but you can see on the back. There we go. Look how easy that is. Using a Thompson TV, of course. So this is a T07. This is a T07. Oh, actually, it's a T07 70. Ah, oh, interesting because this is also T07 70, but it has the rubber keyboard. Whereas this one here is a T0770, very small 70 there. And it's got a proper keyboard. Very interesting. Uh, but we can see here, uh, we've got a powerful home computer, Thompson T0770. Uh, it offers 64K, expandable to 128K, a light pen, five input and output connectors. So yeah, it's quite a lot of... Um, the T07 7 exists in a Perry SCART version or in a PAL version, equipped with a antenna output and a DIN audio video. Oh, okay, ask your dealer for advice. Yeah, of course. So, be SCART for France or PAL for um, for England. Anyway, let's continue on. Um, and all the machines use the 6809. So, anyway which is interesting. So, uh, just a quick look. Interesting, nice bit of weight to it. So, so rubber rubber keyboard. This, uh, this doesn't have basic uh, included. It comes on a Memo 7 cartridge. So you actually need to, um, <laughs> if you don't have this, you don't have basic or any software. So that kind of goes in here. To the uh, program cartridge reader or the Lector DMMO7. So we've got a, which is good, like that, opens up like so. You can see the little, so you just install it like that. Oh, you don't even need to push it down. There we go, installed. And you can take it out. So that's basic, basic version 1.0, which is the same as on the MO5. 
So that's in there. We have the crayon optique in this section up here. Very, very, very stylish. Uh, button on the front there, so obviously you push into the screen on that. So we will give that a test. I do have a, um, I've got a, a TV, I bought a Sony TV I bought in the UK with Scott Scarp built in. And I believe it just goes in, does it go in that way or is it going that way? I saw a picture of it standing up. Well, it just goes in like that. <laughs> so keep it like that when it's in use. So that's pretty cool. So that's built in. Yeah, you can't pull that one out. So that's built in. So you're not likely to lose that unless someone actually has physically chopped it off. Um, see, we've got a uh, reset button on the front. Um, yep, yeah, so that's about it for there. Let's have a look at the, on the back. So we've got our built-in SCART cable and Euro power plug. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this because it's messy. I prefer to cut these off. Actually, on the MO6, which is a second generation machine, I was thinking, we'll just have a look at it quickly. Just have a look at its design. Oh, there we go. So that's the MO6. I was actually thinking of maybe removing this and installing a an IEC C7 socket on here so I can just plug plug in the AC power rather than having this but that's for another video so we have a look on the back here so obviously we've got power over here good old on off switch we've got SCART there we have a it looks like a 2.1 mil socket there for something so maybe power output, maybe five volts out or something. I don't know. Uh, then we've got some expansion. Maybe that's printer. I'm not sure. We've got another expansion there. So lots of expansion options. And then we have another one there. And whatever this is, I don't know what this is. So it's got dip switches and a DIN socket. I don't know. Is it a network connector maybe? So I think... That's what this is for. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Wow. Bonus. <laughs> Bonus. I didn't know that was included. So this looks to be... Um, yeah, this looks to be a networking... Networking board that goes on that end, end one there. And then you just set the address. Cool. I have to buy some more of these to connect up to the other machines. <sighs> there we go. Um, and then... On the side there we've got, um, that would be for the cassette recorder, magneto phone. Oh, bundle of cables. So there we go, we'll have a quick look. So we've got a, an LEP, Elector and Registrar <laughs> Deprograms, or the cassette recorder. So finally, so I'm assuming I can, can I use this with the... Is it, can I use this with the MO6? Maybe I can't. Maybe. I thought the peripherals were interchangeable. Actually. I read the software doesn't work, but the, um, the peripherals are interchangeable. So we've got memory extension, communication interface, game controller. So that'd be your um, DE9. Diskette drive, printer. Okay. So the RF modulator. Diskette drive, so you need your diskette drive and your controller. Plugs into the back. And you got your computer there, plotter. Yep. 12 volts, maybe. Let's have a look. Open it up. I'll be back. Blurb oh, in English. On the side of the box. So maybe I need to back out a bit. <laughs> so the program reader recorder uh, MK90 090 has been specifically designed for your microcomputer UC90 001. Okay, that's not this machine. Um, program reader recorder 
has one special strong point. It can read some pre-recorded programs with the data track, uh, which I think is the right track, and a soundtrack, which is the left track. You can thus listen to music or to commentaries accompanying the program through the speaker on your TV set. So that is quite an interesting, um, quite an interesting feature that I've not seen. Well, I'm, I'm, maybe other computers have got it, but um, certainly the ones I've been using. And here it is, the machine itself, just a pretty standard machine with uh, with DIN, 12 volts on the input, and comes with a tape. Amsoft tape. Cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, no idea. C15 tape. Audi 1 copy, Audi Audi 1 and Audi 2 copy. So that'll be the first thing I try out, I guess, once I get this up and running. So, yeah, need to obviously change the plug and give it a bit of a clean. And then we'll have a, uh, we'll open it up and have a proper look. So hopefully that was an interesting, quick intro. Bye for now.